Hi everyone, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. When I was going through my epic coloring book collection, one of the parts showed the William Morris books that I have, and I had a request from a subscriber to do a complete flip through of his books. So that's what we're going to do today. I have three of his books. So, the first one that we're going to go through is this one. And it just says William Morris Coloring Book. Brooklyn Museum by Pomegranate, I'm assuming is the publisher. So, maybe I should, I don't know if I can, no, maybe not. I was going to say maybe I can zoom you in a little bit, but I guess not. On the front cover, well, maybe I can a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. Um, just when I show these, you can see they're numbered one, two, three. So this is going to represent the artwork that is throughout the book. And as you can see, they are just beautiful. He is an awesome artist. Let's get you back out so you can see the pages better. So, like I said, we're just going to do a complete flip through. They are numbered on the bottom to correspond with the pictures that are in the front of the book. So each one has the name of a pattern of his. Like many other books, there are some that are easier. Isn't this pretty? Some that are more detailed. Because there are three books to go through, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each page. But I am hoping this will give you an idea of what is in each book. Especially to that subscriber that requested a flip through of these books. This is a thinner book than the other two. And I cannot remember, I meant to check this out before before I did this video. If I got these all on Amazon, I think one or two of them might not have been on Amazon. So I will go and I will check where I got these books from and I will, if possible, leave links down in the description to these books. The next one is by Thames and Hudson. This is William Morris, an arts and crafts coloring book. There is an introduction in the beginning of this book. Talks about his wallpapers and whatnot that William Morris is famous for. It has a colored version of the picture here. Very, very detailed. This book is extremely detailed. Double page spread. Then it talks about this particular pattern. This one is nature. And again, a colored in version. And then the one to be colored in has a light cream background on this particular one. Isn't that pretty? Yours to color in. Here's a beautiful peacock. So that's why I really like this book because you do get an idea of what he originally um, 
had colored his patterns in. And you can either try to follow this pattern or, you know, there's nothing saying that you have to color it in exactly like his. I believe most of us, you know, when, when we have the books where it shows you the colored in version and then one that you color in, probably most of us try to tailor our picture after theirs. But again, nothing saying you have to. All of these pictures to color in, again, do have this cream colored background. I love the colors that he uses in many of his pictures. The lines are very light. As you can see, I'm hoping it is showing up in the camera. I like this. He really uses some beautiful color combinations. Then in the back of the book, it says captions. And so it um, describes each one of the patterns that are in this book. So that's kind of neat too. And that is the end of that one. Then the last is called William Morris Designs. And this one says it's adapted by Emanuela Carletti. I do have a, a few pictures marked in here that I want to color. This folds out and shows you all of the, the designs in this particular book. And again, they're numbered. This is by Hamlin as the, I'm assuming again, the publisher. Then it explains it has a contents page, which again numbers each one of the patterns or wallpapers and gives you a page number that each are on. Here it gives you a page which talks about William Morris. He was born in London in 1834. And yeah, it just talks about him. Here on this page down at the bottom gives you the name of that particular pattern or wallpaper. And I'm assuming some of these patterns are also in one of the previous books that I showed. Again, some very detailed pictures. Would almost have to use fine liners in some of these. Wow. Not a picture that you're going to sit down and get done in an hour or two. It would be many sittings, <laughs> but I, I'm sure they would be gorgeous once they're done.
Wow, look at that one. Woohoo. <laughs> And almost done. Getting hard to hold the book down. <laughs> And on the back, again, this folds out and continues on with the numbers of the pages and shows a colored inversion of each of the patterns. So you can see there are more patterns in this book than that first one that's, I believe it was the first one, that's tailored like this. There are 45 pictures in here. So, these are the three books that I have by William Morris. I'm not sure if there are more out there than this, but these are the three that I have. So, I hope you liked these flip-throughs of uh, these particular books, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so and hit that bell so you're notified when I have additional videos out there. I hope everyone has a terrific day. We are having another snowy day um, with another big snowstorm hitting this weekend. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> And I hope every, I already said that, has a terrific day the rest of the week and happy coloring.